welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This week we got a great, great show for you. The early days of professional wrestling. The early days of Rocky Raymond right here. 1977, Beverly Ice Arena. Unbelievable. Super 8 converted to 8 millimeter all the way back again. The VHS is soon to be on DVD. Can you believe it? Rocky Raymond's first professional debut. And many, many more matches to come this week. A great show. Young Rocky Raymond with his black tights, black boots, and his newly worn ring jacket. The Pomona Jack Viles and his opponent this week, Rocky Marciano's brother, Joe Marciano. And there's the bell for our wrestling action as they tie up for the very first time, Rocky Raymond, Joe Marciano, Collar and elbow now, and they're back to the ropes now as Joe Marciano pushes back Rocky Raymond. This is the early days of Rocky Raymond, before the AWA, before the NWA in Florida, before New England Sports Promotions, and way before WrestleMania. There was no WrestleManias. There was no SummerSlams. Big arm drag now by Rocky Raymond on Joe Marciano. The Beverly Ice Arena in good old Beverly, Massachusetts. As they tie up again, these two wrestlers, their very first professional match as Joe Marciano sends Rocky Raymond railing with an arm drag of his own. Oh, yes, yeah, some of the greatest matches you'll ever see right here on the Great Eight. The early days of professional wrestling. And Rocky backs with the ropes now. Big knee limit section. Followed up by a big left hand to the side of the jaw. And Joe Marciano finds himself on the receiving end of the really, really, really young Rocky Raymond. Full head of hair right here. And Marciano backs him up, but the referee breaking it up in the corner now. And we got a fan now at ringside. And it's young Rocky Raymond, call an elbow now on Joe Marciano. Backing him into that corner buckle now. Threatening to throw that left hand now, and the referee breaking it up. And it's Rocky Raymond with the reverse headlock now on Joe Marciano with a lateral press now. Just the two count now. Look at that agility and Billy, the young Rocky Raymond. Back on his feet in seconds. Snap man now, Joe Marciano. Followed by a big knee drop on the side of the head now, Joe Marciano. Lateral press now. Just the two count. And these two wrestlers, very first match for both these wrestlers. Side headlock now. And Rocky Raymond controlling the match now as he's wrenching down on the head of Joe Marciano. Very first match for both these wrestlers, 1977. And it's Joe Marciano shoots Rocky off the ropes, one shoulder tackle. And he hits the ropes again, second shoulder tackle on Marciano down. Little slow getting up, big hip toss now on Raymond. Rocky Raymond sent railing with that flying hip toss, comes back with the right hand. Right across the kiss of Joe Marciano. And another one now. Florent Joe Marciano. The very first match of Rocky Raymond, can you believe it? You better believe it. Big right hand in the midsection now, sending Rocky Raymond railing. Joe Marciano with a little comeback of his own now. Followed up by the knee. Oh, the great crowd we got here this week at the Beverly Ice Arena. Oh, yeah. Big bail out of the corner. All the friends of Rocky here today. Filthy Phil Asenio, John Macario, Joe Christie, Daniel Garbett. All the friends of Rocky come down to see the big match. The first time getting into the ring. Dropping the big elbow now on Marciano. 
Looks like somewhat of a half crab moderated. This action fast and furious. He's on Super 8. Oh, he nailed him with that one. Into the midsection. Upstairs, downstairs. And the referee push it on Raymond. Hold back that temper now. Don't get disqualified. It's your first match now. Knee to the back of the head now. Joe Marciano. Swirled out on the mat like a piece of cheese. Rocky Raymond dropping that big knee drop down in the back. And uh, Joe Marciano, a little balding of the uh, two over here. Rocky Raymond, a full head of hair. Can you believe it? 1977. Working on them hamstrings now. Young Rocky Raymond, first professional match. Kind of proud of myself at that particular point. And it's Joe Marciano now getting choked. And the crowd here going bananas, big right hand in the belly. Downstairs, Joe Marciano hits him in the back with an elbow. This is the very first match for both of these pro wrestlers. Oh, ready to that turnbuckle. And Marciano going back and forth. Raymond with a big left hand, followed up by a big left to the kisser. And the referee calling all the shots right here. Oh, he hit him that deal. He nailed him hard with that. Is that turnbuckle? And he's setting him up now for a big knee drop across that forehead. Putting the pressure on Joe Marciano as the referee steps in now. Side headlock now. Oh, backbreaker. Look at these moves by young Rocky Raymond. Oh, he cut him across the forehead with that one. Back in the midsection, back and forth. Oh, he fits him up for a... Trying to go for a crucifix here. Pinning combination. Joe Marciano front face headlock now on Rocky Raymond. Rolls him over trying to get him for a cover. Raymond snap made Marciano. This action is fast and furious because it's on Super 8. Film. No digital cameras. No high definition here. Just a little bell and howl camera. Marciano shooting Rocky Raymond into that corner buckle now. Falling in by a big knee. Hammering down on Raymond. This has been a tough match now. They're going over seven minutes, eight minutes into the match. Schoolboy on Raymond. Just a two count. And he's lining him up now. Irish whipping in the corner now. Oh, right in the small of the back, and Raymond goes down. Marciano, the hometown boy now. Shooting Raymond now, working on him in the corner. Shoots him into that corner, Baca, watch out. Oh, nobody home. It's the cover. It's all over. Rocky Raymond wins his first pro match. Did you think it was going to be any other way? The persuasion. The early days. And the winner of the fall of the match, yours truly, Rocky Raymond, young Rocky, before he turned cocky, before he turned bad. We'll be back with another great match. Look on this kid's face. No. Are you here with us or what? Let me wake you right up, kid. Let me wake you. Yeah, that's it. Come on, you. You don't talk about me yeah. like that, huh? How do you think you're talking about, huh? And we're back here with another great match. This is the second match of the early days of Rocky Raymond. And his opponents, can you believe it? Frankie G, Joey G, the Gullah Twins. These twins were the original twins from New England. They weren't a couple of fake brothers. Tag team match, Rocky Raymond, Steve Bourbon versus the Gullah Twins. That's right, right here. On the early days of Rocky Raymond. And there's the 
bout for our wrestling action. It's Frankie G and Rocky Raymond. Call an elbow. Look at these two bohemians. Look at the size of the chest of Frankie G. A double barrel chest. Rocky Raymond scoops the side headlock now, and he's wrenching down on the side of Frankie G. Shoots him in. Big shoulder tackle now. Sends him reeling. And it's another one, a shoulder tackle now. And another one off the ropes now, Big Frankie G. Oh, unbelievable. A big hip toss on Rocky Raymond. Big down with that knee. And it's Frankie G shoots him off again now. Another great hip toss now. Kick up by Rocky. Big arm drag now on Frankie G. And a second arm drag sending him reeling all over the ring. These were the days before the tandem boots. That's right. Frankie G and Joey G. Kind of white tonight. Oh, look at that shot to the side of the head of Raymond now. As Frankie G will not tolerate any of kind of. Shoots him into the corner now. It's Frankie G now. Irish whip. Oh, look at the velocity. Steve Berber in the ring now with Frankie G. This action's fast and furious. It's on Super 8. Joey G hip toss Steve Bourbon. Dropping an elbow. Raymond trying to break it up now. They're putting the boats to Raymond. Steve Bourbon, excuse me. This action's so fast and furious. Raymond in the corner working on Joey J. Steve Bourbon going to bounce him like a basketball. Boop, boop, boop. Big tag now. Rocky Raymond coming into the ring. On Joey G, a big elbow now, but Frankie G's back in the ring. He's going to get you. Oh, what happened here? Little Lucy shoots him in now. High elevation, big back body drop on Frankie G. And Rocky's going to send him in again now. There goes Frankie G. Oh, he caught him with that big boot. Size 17 boot. Joey G in the ring now. Kicking on the wrong leg. Russian as usual. A little out of control, Joey G. These are the early days of the Gullah Twins. Before they were the House of Pain. Joey G slamming Rocky Raymond down. Here comes Frankie G with that big pancake splash. And the winner of the first fall in the match. The Gullah Twins now, as you can see Steve Bourbon. Helping yours truly. Young Rocky Raymond with those red kites with the yellow stripe. And it's Frankie G. And Rocky Raymond's putting those boats to him. Coming down. Choking him. Front face headlock now. And Rocky catches him on the jaw now. Left hand across the kisser. And another big bail now. As you can see, a white flash go through the sky. Pinning combination, just a two count now. Joey G breaks it up. Putting the boots to him. And Rocky comes back with a boot to the back of the head, a chop to the chest. Hair pulled by Frankie G to hammering those forearms. And another bail out of the corner. Lateral press. Just a two count, Steve Bourbon breaking it up off the ropes now. Another big back body drop, they're setting him up. They're setting him up for that sunset flip. Bourbon. And the winner of the second fall, it's one fall apiece. The Color Twins took the first fall, there's one for good measures. Frankie G laid out on the mat. It's one to one in this tag team Donnybrook. Oh, you won't see these anywhere else. This was before WrestleMania, before the Royal Rumble, before the Summer Slams. New England Championship Wrestling, the Gullah Twins, the Young Twins. Oh, how's your hip, Frankie G? Now they're going back and forth, out of control. This match is out of control. They're going bananas. San Martino, it's me, it's me, it's BBB, the only man that can bring the oldest, the best, the foundation of professional wrestling to Boston. Here he is, the living legend, Bruno. Tell him a couple of words in Italian, Bruno. 
Well, a tutti voi cari paesani di qui di Boston, sono tanto contento di trovarmi qui in Boston, vi saluto a tutti e vi ringrazio sempre per tutti gli anni fa che mi avete dato tanto il coraggio e il supporto qui in Boston. And remember to watch Empire Pro Wrestling, the best of the best, the living legend's going to be there, the interview's coming, watch it from 10 to 11 on the grade 8 with who? The living legend! Well, thank you, Rocky, looking forward to it. The best there is. Thank Bruno Sammartino, be there! And we're back here with another great early, early days of pro wrestling. Rocky Raymond versus Butcher Moskov. Down Rocky Raymond right here. Lawrence, Massachusetts. The Plains Community Center. As you see, Butcher Moskov coming into the ring now. And Rocky Raymond. This should prove to be another great early days of professional wrestling. The early days of Rocky Raymond. As you can see, the great ring attire. And the action. And it's called elbow now as these two bohemians in the ring now. Butcher Mosca back and Rocky Raymond back to the ropes. Call an elbow down there, tying up, they're trying to feel each other out. 1977. Butcher Mosca, oh, he nailed Rocky with the big forearm now. And the referee warning Butcher Mosca. There's a Butcher. Butcher Mosca, oh, Rocky nails him with that one. In the corner now, it's Rocky Raymond and Butcher Mosca as Butcher Mosca gets out of that one. And it's Carl Elmo now, they're back to the ropes again now, and the referee moving right in, and Mosca catches Raymond again with that shot arm, forearm, side headlock now by the Butcher. And uh, Rocky Raymond now getting ready. Oh, he raked him across the eyes. And it looks like he's got a front face headlock, looks like he's reaching for a foreign object now. Oh, he nailed him right in the throat. Rocky Raymond setting railing on that one. And Mosca working on him in the corner now. And our referee, blindside. You better believe it. These are the early days. Young Rocky Raymond in his quest. To be a great, great, great professional wrestler back in these days and they're tying up now in the middle of the ring Butcher Mosca Rocky Raymond feeling each other out oh he got blocked this time Raymond tried to block it forearm across the back now as Butcher Mosca moving in with that foreign object putting the boost to him he stuck that foreign object right in through right up into the throat of Rocky Raymond Rocky outside the ring now and trying to catch his win. And the referee trying to hold back this wild Butcher Mosca. Rocky trying to go with a big shoulder now as Butcher Mosca. Oh, he tripped him up. Tripped him up on the way to the ring now. Butcher Mosca working with that foreign object. Hammering down on Raymond. Raymond turning around. Here we go. Right to the left. Wild blows. Butcher Mosca. Find himself on the mat now, it goes right and left. Goes quick right and left, sending Butcher Mosca on the mat now. The referee backing up Raymond. And Butcher Mosca looks like he's going down in the tights again. Raymond now going down and trying to find that foreign object in the corner. Oh, he's got him right and left. Couple of heavy blows to the side of the head of Mosca, sending him outside the ring. Oh, these were the young days of Rocky Raymond. He goes again now, up into that throw. Oh, again. Big boot to the midsection of Raymond, sending him down. That butcher Mosca working on that throw to Raymond, trying to win him, trying to slow him down. The whole match now. And he's got him in the corner, a couple of right hand blows, left hands. Angelo Mosca all over the ring. Shoots him into that corner buckle. Blatant chokehold. And a low blow on Raymond. 
This action's fast and furious because it's on Super 8. Don't try to adjust your TV. It's not high def, not digital. It's Super 8. Big forearm smashed by Big Butcher Mosca, the man from Sweden. Putting a choke on him. Raymond got him in the corner now. Looks like there's going to be some trouble. Off the ropes. Big shoulder tackle. Down goes Raymond. Big hip toss now. The butcher goes flying outside the ring. Trying to catch his, his win now. Big butcher Mosca. Big left hand now. Watch this ball up. Oh, he leveled him. Shoots him off the ropes again now. Back body drop. These were the young days, the early days, as Raymond finds himself outside on that concrete floor. Looks like a hard gymnasium floor now. Raymond trying to pull him in, but to no avail. Mosca too smart. They're going back and forth on that ring apron. Raymond caught him with a hard left hand blow. And another one. Raymond putting the boots to Butcher Mosca. Big arm drag now, sending Mosca reeling. Second arm drag. And Butcher Mosca outside the ring trying to catch his composure. Raymond got him in the corner, big bail out of the corner. Pinning combination. Just a two count now as Mosca slips off the road side the ring, back and forth. Oh, he rammed his head into that canvas. Putting a choke to him outside the ring. Now the referee looks like... Butcher Mosca has been disqualified, the winner of the fall in the match. Rocky. He's going to bring in Brutus and Bob, a, Bob a, 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 a beefcake to have wrestling clinics. So Pat is really going to do a lot for the area. Oh, absolutely. He's done, he's done a lot for any area that he's been in. He's got a great, great gym over there in Somerville. Right. And that's a great area also. All, All right. right. Look, at, look, at, look at Hogan coming off a road trip, coming up those stairs. You can tell the guy's been around the world training, wrestling, performing. And he's uh, come here nice enough to sign all these great autographs that day. And it was a miserable day. And those fans, they hung out there. Yeah, he has an incredible following. People, a lot of people said he wasn't as popular. And Pat said, Pat said he could have had The Rock. And he said, no, I want Hulk Hogan. You better believe and, and, uh, you know, And it proved to be true, because it was, it was just totally unbelievable. Often imitated, but never duplicated. Right. Okay, That's let's talk about the incredible Ashley. Uh, first of all, it's great to meet you, and welcome to the Sports Forum. Thank you. And uh, you've been into boarding, beer building, and kickboxing. Now, let me uh, talk. How did you get involved in that? You know, and uh, you know, when did you start in that? Um, I did gymnastics in high school, and when I got out of high school, just to keep myself in fit, I um, did a little bit of bodybuilding and yeah. um, kickboxing. Did so, you enjoy that? I mean, is it, did that really attract, you know, kickboxing and stuff like that? Um, yeah, a anything athletic or anything sporty attracts me. Okay, um, and then your gymnastic background, uh, you know, one thing leads to another, you get involved into wrestling, yeah. and, and that's how it worked for you? Absolutely. She's going to be the next big thing right here at ECW. Absolutely. We got the, she's coming in there with John Cronus, the ECW crazy man. He does the moonsaults, homicidal, suicidal, genocidal moves like Sabu. Right. We're bringing in John Cronus. We're coming down to the entertainment complex in beautiful Revere Mass right by the beach. Get on the blue line and get your sister down there too and get your grandma out of the kitchen. Get your sister off the phone and come on down there. The incredible Ashley's going to be there performing. She's going to be there walking out. She's going to be valeting one of the great, great wrestlers and Two extreme hardcore pro wrestling. It's going to be unbelievable. All right, so then. Be there. Another early match of Rocky Raymond right in the ring. Way McNaught. Rocky Raymond, Dan Petty. And there's our bell, it's Dan Petty backing up Rocky Raymond. Big arm drags, a couple of flying arm drags. This action's fast and furious because remember, this is on film. It's not on digital camera, it's not on HD, it's 8 millimeter film as you see Dan Petty scooping up Rocky Raymond going back and forth, and Rocky got him in the corner now, he's hammering down on Dan Petty, and our referee for this one, can you believe it, Danny Davis, top wrist lock now and Rocky powers out, 
Dan Petty working on the arm now, and Rocky Raymond looking to go down. Takes him down with an arm bar. Top wrist lock into an arm bar on Dan Petty. Step over toe hold now by Rocky Raymond. And his colorful blue tights. You don't see these tights anymore. All spandex these days now as Rocky Raymond comes down with a big leg drop on Dan Petty. And Rocky putting the boots down to Dan Petty. Another one of Killer Kowalski's students. And Rocky used to love beating down on Kowalski's students. Now big leg drop down on Dan Petty. And he's coming back. Back and forth. Axe handle down on the leg of Petty. Raymond working on the leg of Dan Petty. Big left hand forearm now. Dan Petty gets raked across the eyes. Into that top turnbuckle as Danny Davis looks on. Big bail out of the corner. Unbelievable fast action. Fast, fast, fast. This is Super 8. Don't get up. Don't go to the kitchen. You might miss the finish now as Petty working on the arm of Rocky Raymond. Winding it up like a clock now. Big arm stretcher now by Dan Petty. And Raymond wrecking the eyes with the boot. And Dan Petty looks to be blinding now. Draping him across that top rope now. Choke hold. Slingshot. Here's that big Ken Patera slam. Unbelievable slam now. Cover just a two count now. Big neck breaker. Dan Petty looks to be out of it. Just a two count. Off the ropes now. Big back body drop. Sunset flip now by Dan Petty. Just a two count. And it's a top wrist lock now. And Dan Petty with a wild forearm across the back of the neck. And Petty gets flipped out of the ring like a frisbee. And Rocky Raymond signaling to the fans. He's number one. Dan Petty now back. And he flips him out again. Unbelievable action. Weymouth North. Been all around New England. Started out in New England. Big drop kick by Dan Petty. After this campaign in the New England area, Rocky flew down to Florida, wrestling for the CWF Championship Wrestling from Florida, better known as the real NWA. And in the corner now, it's Dan Petty and Rocky Raymond. Raymond looking to play possum now, choking down. Oh, there goes the referee. There goes the, oh, Raymond rocks on the referee, rocks him. This could be a disqualification. Big drop kick by Dan Petty. Sends Raymond over the top rope. The winner by DQ. Dan Petty. Another great match. The early, early, early days of Rocky Raymond. Yeah, baby. And here's Walter Killer Kowalski. The old grobbler. Executioner. The Tony Altamari from the Sicilians in the 60s. Can you believe it? Choking down on Silvano Souza, the Portuguese sensation. Ron Shaw, another one of Kowalski's students that didn't make it. And it's Killer Kowalski, big old grobbler. Step over toe hold on Silvano Souza, stretching his ass head out of him. Oh yeah. Oh, down across the leg of Silvano Souza. A second one now. That was a big move back in the day. Look at the grobler, Kowalski. The big grobler on the top rope. Down on Silvana Souza. Another old WWF veteran. Hope you enjoy all these great matches, the early days, the swirly days. We're at the grand opening of the World uh, Gym in, uh, on Main Street in Tewksbury, Mass. And we are gracious enough to have Rocky Raymond, the Boston bad boy, with us. 
We're waiting for the, an appearance of the WWF champion Hulk Hogan. And wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. WWE, don't be, don't mix it up with WWF. We're cutting off the F. It's WWE now. Get off the F, Daddy. It's WWE. We're right here in Tewksbury. 1830 Main Street. This is where it's all happening today. It's Hulkamania. It's going wild. Look at all the people. It's pandemonium everywhere. Right here at the grand opening of World Gym. Right here in Tewksbury. It's unbelievable. 1830 Main Street. Get your grandma out of the kitchen. Get your sister off the phone. Get down here right now because Hulk's on the way. Tell him, tell him Hulk's on the way. Hulk is on the way, and I and I see, see the stretch here. Hulk still rules, and I guess he does. Oh by, by yeah! Clown. Thanks to those people up in Canada, they brought Hulk Hogan up from the dead and brought him back. He's alive. He's better than ever. It's like the 12th and ever. Right here. Come on down. Get a T-shirt. It's the grand opening of the World Gym, the most exciting gym in all the world. Hulk Hogan's gonna do some curls right here. He's gonna hang and bang right here at World Gym. So come on down, 1830 Main Street. Be there or be square. Come on, say something. All right, Rocky. Uh, why don't you tell us about World Gym? Well, well this uh, gym is unbelievable. It's what do we have here? The greatest equipment in all the world. We got the new room. We got the excitement. We got the aerobics. We got the. We got some bodybuilders here that are just unbelievable. Unbelievable size and strength right here. So come on down here and see this beautiful gym right here in Tewksbury. It's beautiful. Right. It's one I want to talk. I also see you have a boxing gym. You have a ring inside there. Well, we got the Wish Foundation here today. Right. A great, great organization for all the great, great kids. They're going to come down here, get a chance to shake the champion's hand from the WWE right here, Hulk Hogan, right here in Tewksbury. So come on down. Tell the people to come on down. There's a lot of lines. They're out to the street right now, so I don't know if you're going to get in, but hey, come down to the gym. Right here is the best gym in all of Tewksbury. That's right. That's Will Gymnasium at uh, 1830 Main Street. That's right. Be there or be square. We're going to get you down there pumping the gym. That's too. right. I, I definitely have to do some pumping. In okay. Well, it's great to be great here. Great to meet you. Good luck Thank in you your uh, uh, endeavors here, and hopefully uh, we'll see you again. Okay. And we're back here. Butcher Mosca coming back into the ring against Hulk. Can you believe this one? Execution number three, a.k.a. Rocky Raymond. That's right. He came execution number three when Big John Studd took off the mask as execution number two. And they're ready for action. Carl Albo now. Oh, he pushed him back to that corner buckle. Look at the strength of this execution. John Studd was execution number two. Rocky Raymond took his spot when he traveled on to the WWWF and became Big John Studd. And execution number three takes a big back body drop. Big Butcher Mosca going against execution number three, yours truly. Big arm drag now. Butcher Mosca cinching up on the executioner. Look at those blue tights. That's why you call them tights, because they were tight. Oh yeah, big arm drag now on the executioner. Donning the mask for the first time. Tagging up with the legendary Killer Kowalski traveling all across New England as the executioners. One and three, one and three, that's the daily double. Big slam now as Mosca holds on. These were the early days of uh, Rocky Raymond, how he became the professor wrestler that he turned into. Later on, becoming the Boston Bad Boys with Tony Rumble. Traveling all around Puerto Rico, Carolinas, Florida. One of the most pronounced wrestlers from New England. Shoots him off the rope now, dropped down by the executioner. Big hip toss to a switch now as Mosca. Hip toss in the execution now, working on the arm. All the great independent shows. Can you believe it in New England? From 1977 all the way up to 1996. Then doing my own shows. Oh yeah, big knee to the midsection now. Whole double boot across Mosca's midsection. And the executions, as you well know, great tag team in the WWWF. As execution number two took off the mask, became Big John Studd. And I replaced him as executioner number three, Rocky Raymond, as he shoots him into that corner buckle. Oh, he shook his cage on that one. Setting him up now. Looks like another whip reversal now by Mosca. Oh, unbelievable action here. As the executioner sent railing on that one. The crowd going bananas, and I believe this is Redding, Redding High School. 
coming up after this one. The big Donnybrook, Master Burns against the old grobbler, Killer Kowalski. Double axe handle across the back of Angelo Mosca's brother, Butcher Mosca. No, I'm only joking. No relations. Big Butcher Mosca, big neck breaker, no backslide now. Just a two count now on the execution number three. Top wrist lock now and Mosca controlling the match now as this executioner, AKA Rocky Raymond, that's right. Travel up and down the Northeast with uh, Killer Kowalski, forming the tag team of one and three. And Mosca's winding it up now. He puts the boots to the midsection. Oh, what a turnbuckle now by that executioner. And he's gonna ram him across the ring into the other one now. Oh, Mosca blocks this one. And the executioner reeling on those ropes. All oh, these matches are great on Super 8. Bring back a lot of memories for me. The Gullah Twins. The real twins. They weren't no fake brothers. The Briscoes, the Funks. And of course in New England we had the Gullah Twins, Frank and Joe. Later became the House of Pain. And the execution uh, clamping down with that big bear hug on Butcher Mosca. And coming up, we got Master Burns, a karate expert, against the wrestling expert, Killer Kowalski. There's that amateur wrestling background of uh, yours truly. Shot him down, go behind, hitting combination. Sit out now by Mosca, scooped up the leg. Fast and Furious, that's right, Super 8. Hope you enjoyed all our great shows on the Great Aid right here in Revere. KBLA TV, often imitated but never duplicated. Over a hundred shows. Now we're showing you the early days of Rocky Raymond, how he became, what he became, choking on Mosca. Traveled with all the great stars, Killer Kowalski, went down to Florida. Wrestling Dusty Rhodes, going to Puerto Rico with Calito Colon, all over the network. Irish whip off the ropes now, big elbow. As Butcher Mosca now sent railing. And it's Rocky Raymond with his hand in victory. Setting him up now. Execution number three. Back in the day, wild shot over the head. Oh, Thomas knee drop. Put your mask on the last bit of strength. Picking up 280 pounds. And the execution coming back now at those devastating knee drops across the smaller back. A butcher Mosca rolls him into a pinning combination. Lateral press now. Just a two count. Mosca with an inside cradle. Just a two count now. Looks like the execution setting him up now. Setting him up for that side salto. Side salto. And there's a three count. And the winner in the fall of the match, execution number three, AKA early days of Rocky Raymond. Unbelievable action. And always one for good measures. Headbutt down, choking him. Blatant chokehold. There's that killer Kowalski knee drop. I spoke at the wrestling uh, with a friend of mine, the Gullah Twins. Uh, they were wrestling for uh, a guy named Fuzzy, was his nickname, was uh, Gypsy Joe. He, uh, he ran a flower shop in Chelsea, Mass, and the Gullahs were already you know, doing a couple of matches, doing some summer stuff. So, you know, I always hung around with them guys, and I'd get in doing the wrestling with them. And then from uh, Gypsy Joe, we went on to doing some work with uh, Killer Kowalski as executioner number three in the independent network. I wore the hood, and I worked as executioner number three with Walter, and what we did was we went around all the independent networks over here when Walter was pretty, uh, you know, doing the area pretty well, wrapped it up. He used to do a lot of fundraising with uh, telemarketers and what have you. And I used to tag team with Killer Kowalski as the executioner. Then in 1983, I uh, sort of branched out on my own, went down to Florida and wrestled for the real NWA, not the imitated one.
the real NWA with guys like Lou Fez, Les Thornton, all the great amateur wrestlers, the, uh, the Armstrongs, uh, the Briscoes, Brands. the Funks, all the great names that were second generation wrestlers that were in the National Wrestling Alliance, which was sanctioning the oldest sanctioned uh, wrestling alliance in the world is the National Wrestling Alliance, which WCW, when they bought uh, the, uh, you know, the Crockett promotion, right. which was the old NWA, uh, guys like Jason Youngblood, the Youngbloods, and all the great young stars that were down there. And what happened was Turner turned it over to WCW, but the real NWA, which uh, was all in the southern area from Pensacola, Florida, all the way down, uh, there was, uh, you know, you could be partners with the Texas had a, a group, you could fly into Texas, work for the NWA down there. But I wrestled in Fort Lauderdale, all the way from Fort Lauderdale, all the way up to uh, Jacksonville. Matter of fact, I lived in Jackson, no, I lived in Fort Lauderdale in the promoter, which was Dusty Rhodes. And at the time, they would see how much you wanted to really wrestle and be on the shows. There was a show right in my hometown of Fort Lauderdale and also one in Jacksonville. What do you think he sent me? Yeah. He sent me to Jacksonville. Right. He wanted to see how much I wanted. And I went to Jacksonville. Oh, yeah, I went to Jacksonville. I wrestled all the great names down in Florida. I wrestled the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, the Exotic Asian Street, Terry Allen, Scott McGee, the Kangaroos, the original Kangaroos, right. uh, Don Kent, and... Uh, uh, the other gentleman, I forget, Al Costello, and then we, uh, one of my favorites down there was Rufus R. Jones, the freight train, Charlie Cook, uh, Roddy Piper was just breaking into business in Florida, he was coming up, and he wasn't really uh, a big name, but uh, he was, you know, he was on the card, but when he came into New York, they made him a big name, what he was, and, uh, but he was down in the NWA area, in all them small towns, Naples, we traveled Naples, Fort Lauderdale, Fort Myers, Fort Lucy, uh, I remember when I wrestled in uh, the TV in, uh, and in Tampa, the same night we wrestled in the Fort Hesley Armory, and from Fort Hesley Armory, we drove all the way back to Fort Lauderdale, wrestled in the uh, Miami Beach Convention Center. I was on one of the biggest cards in, uh, in Florida, it was the Night of the Mask, it was the American Dream Dusty Rhodes against Ric Flair. Right. Andre the Giant was in a tag match against Jake the Snake in a handicap match, and that was one of the biggest matches I in. But I got a lot of experience in Florida, being that uh, a lot of great, great wrestlers were in the Florida area. The, Eddie Graham was the... Uh, the promoter down there and his son Mike Graham and a lot, a lot of great, great, great wrestlers. It was a hotbed for many, many years. Uh, Florida, North Carolina, all those great, great uh, southern towns. And we're back here with the big one, execution number one, Killer Kowalski. He's going to meet Master Burns, the karate kid himself. Oh boy, he'll clock you. The fist of stone. Oh, Kowalski got the board across the head. Unbelievable. This action's gonna start fast and furious. Couple of wild blows now. Killer Kowalski getting set up on them ropes. Oh, he caught him with that spinning back kick. The old grobbler. Oh, he's got the bell. Unpredictable. Executioner takes a big bail now. He's coming back. Wild forearms. As Richard Burns now. Back and forth. Faster. Oh, a big drop kick now on the execution number one. There he goes down across that leg. He used to love to work the leg, Kowalski. Hooking it up now with Burns. Big arm by takedown. Working on Kowalski. Drop toe hold. Kowalski going back and forth against Master Burns right here. Karate versus the wrestler. Kowalski now working down on the leg. He might be gnawing down on him. Back and forth. This match is an old match. Big monkey flip out of the corner. Got to be somewhere around 77, 78. Kowalski got his head rammed into that steel clove. Biting him now. Big Bill out of the corner. And it's Master. Oh, a big drop kick sending the grobble outside the ring. And he's got his leg. Watch out for Kowalski. He's dangerous outside the ring. Oh, he pulled him into that pole. On that top rope now. Big knee across the back. Unpredictable, this Kowalski. Got the claw on him now. Going into that bear hug. Headbutt by Burns. Got him to full Nelson. Slamming his head into that turnbuckle. It's execution number three. And Burns... I'm by takedown. Big slam now by Richard Burns. And Kowalski in the corner choking him now with a blatant chokehold. This is an old one. That's right. Back in 1978. 
Richard Burns' hometown, I believe. Reading, they're outside the ring. Kowalski slams his head into the table, and then Burns returns it. Return measure now by Master Burns. Watch out for Kowalski, he's got a chair. Oh, big drop kick now. Kowalski went down. He might be disoriented, watch out. Watch out, oh, he caught him in the midsection with that chair. Then across the back. What's he gonna do? Oh, he caught him again now. The big old tree went down. Looks like he's out. Looks like he's out. The old grobbler, Kowalski. Oh, we flew on a guy from Hawaii, Kahuna. He's 550 pounds. They flew him in in a pineapple crate. Okay. 550 miles. And I want, I want to know on the independent network that my adopted father, the I Am Messiah. His brother, old <laughs> brother. Old I brother. am I Messiah. We were at Hyundai this weekend, and you should have seen the girls whistle when he was out front. He had a parakeet yellow shirt on, parakeet yellow shoes, a black pair of slacks, and they were waving, whistling. They were doing all sorts of tricks. They wanted to. They were trying to get to my adopted father, the Iron Messiah. Oh, the brother. They wanted to see the rage in the cage. The rage in the cage <laughs> back in the day. Last time I was in a cage, I was feeding my parakeet. He pulled me right in. But anyways, getting back to the show, we got all sorts of stars. We got WCW guys. We went over this road. Rick Fuller is going to be the former star. We got Power Company. We got these two incredible girls that are going to be there. I don't know exactly. I think I'm just going to just hog them. I'm just going to make them walk to the ring with me. What and about that's me? it. In the Iron Messiah, yeah, what, I'm your old father. Don't I get the leftovers? Well, actually, no, no leftovers. We're going to come on all together. We're one oh, big family. Right. And my new right hand man, cameraman, pan up. Look at this man, Evo. Look at the frustration in his eyes. Look at his cheekbones. If you get smart with me, he'll slap you silly. And his middle name is not Willie. Because let me tell you, he'll whack you, he'll tack you, he'll even kind of. He wants the strap, is what he wants. He wants the strap. He wants the strap to go down to one of his men. And he has a new man coming in, the dungeon master. He's seven foot four, second to none, he weighs a ton, and he feeds him underneath the door. He's like a parakeet. Slides it in and slides it out. And that's it. In and out, in and out. And you, I heard you want to arm wrestle the incredible Ashley. Well, you want to go with her? I, I have no problem with that. Well, no problem We're going to get it going. We, you know, we'll get it going with you and her, because last time, me and you had a problem. I told you to stop, you know, like you've got corn in your teeth, like you just come back from a barbecue. I want you to go down to Hyundai, I want you to buy me a thirty thousand dollar car. Come down to the show. We're not thirty thousand, Rock. We have the best values on the planet, the oh. best warranty, oh. the best prices. You oh. can get a thirty thousand car. So at Hyundai of Wilmington, you can purchase any vehicle from anywhere from ten thousand to twenty five. Wait right. a minute, it's starting to turn into an infomercial for Hyundai no, over not. here. Well, Listen, I'll do that. I'll one, one better, one better, one better. I'll arm wrestle her for that belt. This belt, this is the oldest sanctioned, supervised New England title. Do you know how old this belt is? You know the great stars that held this belt? Do you even know who they are? Uh, I don't see any, so... You don't see any, but you know Demolition held this title. The Warlord held this title. The incredible Astro Man from the Dominican Republic is going to be there. I'm going to introduce you to Astro Man because he's coming from Puerto Rico. He's from the Dominican Republic, Astro Man. And when Astro Man is in the house, there's a lot of things going on. But the latter match, you're going to be there. You're going to be have some great, great footage for the show because you've got some new talent coming from two extreme hardcore pro wrestling. And these two girls, like I said, I'm gonna hog them for the night, that's all, I'm just gonna hog them. So what about the belt? I'll, uh, Everybody wants the arm belt. wrestle Everybody for the belt. the belt, why not? Everybody in wrestling why wants not? the belt. Do you know this is the oldest section in New England title? Well, let's put it on the line. Okay, I'll put you it on the line. It, you... I tell you what, I'm gonna put this belt on the line, but I'm gonna warn you that this girl has been bench pressing approximately 125 pounds. We got her back in shape. She's been training in the gym with Jasmine. She's going to be doing some extreme hardcore wrestling coming up in the months to come. And we want to plug the next show. July 28th, it's going to be the Rock and Wrestling Connection. The Iron Messiah is going to sing. He's going to sit on the, he's going to do a little giddle out. He's going to do a little giddle. We do the Jay Clampett thing. He's going to have rock and wrestling. And we might even get you to play the drums. How's that? That Paul. sounds pretty good. Did you, you ever play any instrument? Uh, you know, any uh, instrument? Uh, I used to play the clarinet, but that was school? a long time ago. Hey, I used well, to play the clarinet too. A long, long time ago. But we don't look like the type that should be playing clarinets. <laughs> we're gonna have the rock and wrestling. It's gonna be a great, great, great show. And look at these girls that we got coming from. You know, the extreme pro wrestling. You got the incredible, the incredible Ashley, and you got J. 
Jasmine. Jasmine is new on the block. She's the new kid on the block. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, I, I, I saw her in the car. She was shot. She got, she put those shoes on. She got about five. Cameraman, where are you? Where's the cameraman? Cameraman, zoom in on these shoes. These shoes are unbelievable. They're about, they're about a five foot, you know, they're about, I mean, they're a five foot. They got the ankle support, no ankle support. And check out these shoes. Get these shoes, too. Those are the shoes I used to wear in the 70s. Let me tell you something. They had the big heel. You put the fish in the bottom of them. They used to swim around. One minute you're three foot three, the next minute you're five six eight. Five foot, five foot eight. It works. It works. Now tell us a little bit about what you've been doing. You knew. Come on, cameraman. Zoom in on her. Get a good close up on her. Get it tight. Get it right. Get it tight. I just came in from Los Angeles, East LA, actually. I'm going to check out what my friend's been up to, move down Boston, and uh, hopefully get a little piece of the action. Are you single? Single and looking. Single? I want you to understand one thing right now. Putting the belt on the line. We're putting the belt on putting the line the belt right here. Line. This belt is on the line. And basically, I don't want you cheating. I don't want you doing any ungodly things to my incredible Ashley. Because mm -hmm. if anything happens, I'm going to be right here watching it, okay? Matter of fact, I'm going to take this mic off. I'm going to spring on you like a springboard if you do anything wrong. Okay? Who's so refereeing this? Uh, do we have, a, do we have a, a, an impartial referee for this? Yeah, the I'm a side. Right? Wait a minute. Champion, no, no, wait, wait. wait. This, is, this is like so <laughs> one-sided. It's not even <laughs> fair. It's not <laughs> even oh, fair. Yeah. Okay. Don't, don't take it. Okay. What's going on? Are you going to block right. the camera angle? Are they going to actually see this? Or are you going to shadow it all well, up? I don't know where I'm going to be. I've got to go to the You might want to go sit back down over there. Okay, all right. If you have total right, faith in your woman here, What's, what's the problem? I don't want no cheating, this? nothing going on, you know? Yeah. Respect her, she's a lady, I want everything done properly. She's going down, I don't, this is none of this garbage. I don't every time, down we, every time we brought in here, every time, what are we gonna do? So we're gonna do this? Uh, okay, get a grip, get comfortable. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Go ahead she's all slimy, down. she's all slimy. Wipe it off, wipe it off. There's nothing in that's, that's all right. Come on, I'm looking for excuses already. You in this, you got the gloves on. You watching this? All right. You comfortable? No excuses. Go you ready? I could be. I'm on the count of three. We're going to say go. One, two, three, go. And then we're going to start. All right, you ready? I'm ready. One, two, three, go. It's the incredible. Look at me. Put it down. Put it down. She's coming back. No She's hands. No back. hands. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Come on, Ashley. Oh! Oh! I don't see anything, Paul. Come on now. This is awful. 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 Absolutely awful. Strut your stuff. Let's go. Come I know on, they get up and they get out of come here. Come on. Come on. What do you want me to do with this now, Paul? Paul, you know what? I'm going to tell you right now. This may very I, well yeah, have been the last, this time, is the last time that I show up on this show hey, no and bring it up above. Come on, man. No hard feelings. Who? What? Yeah. Where? What? Who? Huh? Oh, this is unbelievable. Where'd he go? He took off like a shot. He ran he? away. This is unbelievable, Paul. I don't, I don't know about. I don't know if I'm going to be doing the show anymore. Oh, this come is, on now. We're going to be talking yeah. about. Uh, here you go. Oh, yeah. that, gee, that's great. What did that do? Fall out of your hair? Yeah. Oh. All right. The legendary Gypsy Joe. The long ride is Rocky Raymond awarding Gypsy Joe with the plaque. Lifetime achievement right here at Chelsea at the Chelsea Armory, 1983. Then we're going to go right into the six-man tag match. It's Rocky Raymond, the Gullah Twins, against Lenny Kruger, Ricky Sexton, El Magnifico. Unbelievable action. Six-man tag. Rocky Raymond in the long ride is Frankie G, Joey G, with Killer Kowalski as the referee. Can you believe it? Young Rocky Raymond. <laughs> Lenny Kruger, Rocky Raymond now as Rocky Raymond shoots him off the ropes now. Big elbow. Lenny Kruger sent Raylan. Hope you enjoyed all these great fast and furious matches. 
on Super 8 converted to VHF, soon to be on DVD. The Gullah Twins in the corner now, Lenny Kruger on, I believe, Frank or Joe, hard to tell at this particular time. They look so close. El Magnifico from Mexico City as Frankie G put a boot to the midsection now. Kowalski trying to break it up. This is Fast and Furious. It's all the great matches from the early days of Rocky Raymond. Hope you enjoyed it. Joey G against the Mexican taco bender, El Magnifico. That's right, right here at Chelsea Armory in beautiful Chelsea Mass. We travel all over the New England area. The Long Riders, young Long Riders. Then they became the House of Pain. There's Rocky Raymond with his Playboy tights on. Ricky Sexton, Kowalski, is Raymond in the corner beating down on that Mexican. Setting him up for a big shoe play. Oh yeah. Oh, a Mexican. A Mexican suplex. And it's Raymond now, reverse headlock now, on the Mexican superstar, El Magnifico. There's them dirty tactics, Raymond from behind with that big knee. Double slam now. Frankie G and Rocky Raymond. At this particular time, the six-man tag champions, the Long Riders, and Rocky Raymond now. Frankie G putting the boots to El Magnifico. Kowalski, oh, big power slam by Gala. He shivered him. He shook him out of his boots now. Lenny Kruger now getting pulled back. That dirty, dirty Rocky Raymond. There's Joey G. As he steps over his man now, he's setting him up for that slingshot cross line. It's all over now, Raymond's gonna pin him. Hope you enjoyed the early days of Rocky Rain and see you next time on the best of the best of Empire Pro Wrestling.